Hi, this is Jim Stone with the Art of Coaching Volleyball. And in this video, we're going to examine the relationship between throwing mechanics and the attack arm swing in volleyball. The attack in volleyball is basically a throwing action. As you can see in these pictures, regardless of the sport, the basic throwing mechanics are the same. The elbow is drawn back, the upper body is rotated, there's a slight tilt in the shoulders, and then the elbow is rotated upward, and the hand, whether attacking a volleyball, holding a racket, or holding a baseball, is thrown up to the target, or in this case, to home plate. Look at these pictures of top volleyball attackers, and you can see how they put their upper body into a position to initiate the throwing motion. Notice the elbow is back. There's a slight tilt in the shoulders with their left shoulder being above their right. The left hand is up having assisted in the jumping motion. And then as the throwing action proceeds, the left arm and hand will be drawn down to the body midline. So all the top attackers get themselves into this position. And we'll see how this compares with the positions that most attackers get at the younger levels. The body by default will tend to do what is easiest. So when the arms are used to assist in the jumping motion, the tendency is for both arms to be above the head as opposed to getting into position to initiate the throwing motion. As you can see with these younger athletes, how their elbow is above their shoulder, there's no real tilt between their left and right shoulder, and their arm really hasn't been drawn back, allowing upper body rotation. So all the mechanics that we focused on earlier in terms of the proper throwing mechanics are really not in play at this point. Notice in this sequence of attacks how the attackers use both arms to jump, but as soon as the right hand gets to approximately shoulder height, it's drawn back to initiate the throwing action. You want your attackers in this position in the air. Notice how the left hand has continued up to assist in the jumping motion. The right arm is back, and look at the tilt in the shoulders where the left shoulder and right shoulder are not aligned. We want this to be, there to be an angle there, very similar to hitting an overhead clear in badminton. The throwing mechanics are the same in all these sports, and the challenge is to get your athletes into this position. As a member of the Brazilian national team, Jackie Carvalho is one of the leading attackers in the world, and let's see how her mechanics compare with what we've been mentioning. Notice the elbow back, the tilt in the shoulders that we want every player to get into. She rotates her elbow up to the ball, so from the back position, the elbow rotates up, and she drives her hand up and through the ball. But she gets in this elbow back, left arm up, as she completes her swing, she drives her left arm to body midline and hand rotates up to the ball. So coaches, let's really focus on proper throwing mechanics. So as that right hand gets to the shoulders when they're jumping, start bringing it back and rotating that upper body, getting that good shoulder tilt, and then throwing the hand up and over the ball.